Hey guys, this is Jal Kumar Sen, and uh, today's video will be regarding uh, career changing. And uh, even after having so much experience, you can change your field, right? So, ऐसे ही हमारे पास example हैं जिनका नाम है सत्यनारायण मूर्ति और उनसे जानेंगे उन्होंने क्या पढ़ाई करा और कैसे कैसे उन्होंने सॉफ्टवेयर डोमेन में चेंजिंग करते रहे बेस्ड ऑन हीज ओन इंटरेस्ट और uh, अभी रिसेंटली वो काम कर रहे हैं साइबर सिक्योरिटी और डेवलपमेंट ऑपरेशंस में मैं आपको डिटेल से बताऊंगा Okay, hi. I'm Satya Narayan Murthy Tanikela. I'm from Hyderabad. I have around more than 17 years of IT experience. I worked on uh, across different domains. Started from uh, production support to now currently I'm into development and security operations, DevSecOps. Hmm. Okay. Great. So, what is your qualification? Uh, can you share? MCA, MCA, and when you have done MCA, twenty-two years back in the year two thousand, I completed. Okay, so one quick question: Why you have changed? Uh, I mean, from one to another, why you have jumped? Be uh, what is the reason behind this? Because of interest or something else? I got uh, uh, there are two things also because many in IT many courses came and. Uh, gone actually and demand spike and demand again reduces Be based on that demand also i felt whatever courses we need to choose but i thought uh, cyber security would be better it is ever demanding kind of thing because uh, because of its nature and people nature also so i got keen interest in doing learning about got your cyber security it will add my uh, more value to my already administration and operations value that mm -hmm. is the thing and mm -hmm. i try to change even field uh, field also i had once upon a time mm -hmm. so i after to learn this course okay so one more thing i want to uh, ask you from where you have done this course cyber security cyber security i Two places I did. One I did uh, around 2016 back also. There mm -hmm. only about cyber. Just uh, it's only about penetration testing and ethical hacking. Then mm -hmm. later I this comprehensive course I took from Simply Lab. Okay, great. Expert program in cyber security. All right. So guys, if you want to take the cyber security course, then I will put the link in the description. I have a coupon code for them. You will get 10% discount. Mil try kar sakte hain aur le sakte hain so coming to the back to the uh, question satyanarayan can you share a uh, few skills you have learned after uh, after learning this program what what are the skills you have learned uh, after developing main main co main things i uh, understood well was hmm. about uh, uh, one good program out of uh, broad coverages it is cissp i can say because the remaining all are there they are more or less like computer security plus everything they may be there they they are also almost covering the same domains but cissp is the best thing and the next is the cloud security is the uh, these two actually what organization how general security practices we have to take means those two are the uh, relevant uh, things mm -hmm. so uh, currently you are working in uh, operation and uh, development and security right uh, yes. security. so what was your field before this in which domain you were, you, are, you were working i am with i am with devops devops, DevOps yeah. with, with devops domain only okay so currently you have devops plus security you can say that right y yes because development operation and security you, you just yes. add one more uh, you can the field in your domain that's it right that's all okay so can you tell me the growth will be after you know through in this field in cyber security field what will be growth trajectory 
cyber security growth trajectory means it's cyber security there are so many things suppose if we want to technically grow means we have to grow with uh, uh, administration and how to uh, security administration mm. uh, that is one area mm. which is a uh, technical growth and uh, other things are like comp uh, and penetration testing that is one area i can say mm. remaining thing is uh, security policy implementation that is one area our cissp domain covers mm. and uh, and uh, cloud security domain also covers next one more thing is uh, auditing i think uh, uh, for uh, organization all the three things are also uh, three things required one thing first what is the policy we should have good policy should be in place and that policy implemented for that technical people also required mm. and whether it is correctly implemented best practices are being followed year by year we need to be auditors also so uh, all things are required so uh, if yes, getting your point. Uh, anyway with this devsec operations if these things are also incorporated then uh, the, the things will become much bright actually we can avoid data breaches or not mm -hmm. great okay so, growth coming to growth trajectory i should not miss mm -hmm. growth will be there it will be there it it growth means uh, it may not give you very commercially salary like uh, like, that, like that but it will help us to do things better it can also give you good salary hike maybe possible or it is depend on you basically right our our skills and our organizations yes. so currently what are the skills you are you have and what are the skill you are using most of the time in your job i have linux uh, uh, uh python ansible mm. and c are the my core skills one can say mm. i mostly use linux and uh, ansible in the present job mm. okay great so uh, so most of the time you are using linux and uh, python these these things are you using right ansible yes okay ansible okay great so one more thing i want to learn from or want to get the information from you so in this long duration huge uh, you know i mean you can say so 17 years of experience you have so in can you can you share name of few companies you have worked um Okay, many companies I worked with through. I started my career with Aztec Soft and uh, hmm. Aztec Soft later. I and when you have started your career, I think uh, in which huh? year you have, in which year you have started your career? Two thousand four. And uh, did you get job through campus placement or you have uh, applied off campus uh, outside campus? It's uh, outside campus only. Okay, and what was your salary at that time? in 2004 if you can share i uh, it was at that time it may be a good salary only it was uh, uh, it was a good salary only i can say okay no problem so yeah so currently uh, yeah please share the name of your companies i mean name of companies you have worked and i moved to ibm i worked there for 13 years 13 and a half years wow so you and have worked for ibm 13 and a half years okay then Yeah, any, any other company? I'm presently with my uh, employer. I am, uh, for uh, reasons I don't know whether I share it or not, I am uh, at present, I'm not sharing. I'm with uh, my present employer. Okay, so you have worked with first company. So this is your third company, right? In 17 years. Yes. Okay, so you have worked for 13 and a half years. Uh, in oh, great. So one more question I want to ask you. So any few important learnings during this journey, if you want to share? Uh, it is learning, sir. There are many, many learnings also. Hmm. Okay. Many good learnings as well as many learnings which which uh, really uh, both good learnings means that we should uh, implement throughout our career. Bad learnings are which we should not implement. Mm. So I had uh, many, many. So can many you share a few of those bad learnings and good learnings? Uh, 
one good learning is i learned one language on job and i could raise myself to an subject matter expert level with python that is very good experience i had mm. uh, one uh, bad experience i i entered into a field where i worked as a uh, i was forced to work on pearl that uh, then the time it, uh, i was unable to perform very well that is the bad experience that's all you unable to uh, perform very well with that get that okay. time in that field all right so one more thing i want to ask you so there are many fields in software engineering right so can you can yes. you give three four fields which having which will, those fields will have very good future very good growth very good scope uh, more number of jobs any two three field in in software domain and good is a uh, good uh, demand also there are i look at even the the jobs also i say first uh, this i mainly bet for on uh, cyber security because they it is growing like anything and people are needed also mm. not not only i look at job like this Mm. job some simply we are working for some employers not only that even mm. we must be able to cyber security if we take uh, and if we can practice very well we can become even independent uh, consultants also i oh. don't uh, see any in any other uh, field like that because uh, uh, this cyber forensic investigation and all things sometimes forms also there as an individual also small way one can do i i guess mm -hmm. i so like i could not get a chance to do that but uh, one can try i think mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. fact, uh, nowadays so people are uh, work going uh, after this uh, iot and all if people have good ideas and all the app development and uh, good iot implementation mm -hmm. i think around in mm -hmm. india also there are so many problems they can target and if they if people are interested and they have money and they, they can get sufficient funding also mm -hmm. uh, we can find out uh, that iot and uh, that related areas people must explore actually mm -hmm. got your point so uh, can you can you tell few tips and tips uh, so that if anybody will get uh, good growth in software field few tips and tricks according to you uh, which way they want to grow as an employee as an entrepreneur employee that, that they, tell me regarding the employee as an employee means you we have to constantly update what skills is that is one thing are they have to find out uh, skills that are ever ever demanding don't uh, get into areas where uh, people are already more it will become uh, uh, where demand exceeding uh, supply exceeding demand will go get into recession not like this kind of uh, they have to then they have to base depend on quality how much quality which is limitless really they are, they people should uh, understand uh, mm. that uh, which are ever ever demanding like that kind of fields if they can choose mm. it would be better for them mm -hmm. anything else these things are really amazing what you have shared i mean uh, you have to find out demand supply gap you have to find out which having growth you have to find out you have to keep learning uh, keep upgrading yourself and also you have to leave that field which is exceeding demand right demand and supply so really yes. good. okay and the uh, and supply they have, they have to leave otherwise it will become um, pe people will be uh, like uh, it, they are like extra players so don't take that play. you have to really mm -hmm. make a match winner or at least player not an extra player mm -hmm. all right yeah so last question i want to ask you so uh, would you be will you become will you try for uh, becoming independent consultant or you will just work for your current employer actually for sustainable path even i am interested to uh, work as an independent consultant also i am interested because cyber security anyway i some uh, up to some area i explored it 
okay. and in that area or any other i have some ideas also in uh, iot or uh, robotics that i need to think about it but in cyber security yes i want to become a, as an independent uh, consultant hmm great great so what is what is the key points yeah i mean i said to you last question but a few question last question i want to ask you so what are the key areas you are focusing currently for your career growth in the you mean to say in the area of, uh, i actually i want to dedicate uh, this year or anywhere in uh, especially cyber security cyber security also each and every areas we cannot uh, target i told you no and i'm uh, focusing mainly this uh, uh, forensic investigation or ma malware investigation this analysis or this a this is the i found which is very particularly suitable to me when compared to really penetration testing and all uh, so i am trying to find ways and means to excel in that so one last question this is the last question so what do you think if anybody is a beginner wanted to learn python how that that person should start after getting uh, education after should go for training or should go for any offline training online training and so that that can person can choose online offline whatever that person but how to get uh, expertise in python few tips and tricks you can share because this one is quite demanding even mechanical electrical civil researcher programmer developer web developer android developer almost all the people are using this python uh, ah, yes this is this is mainly helpful for them to develop a proof of concept for them mainly mm -hmm. python is helpful because c and all they are having learn, large learning curve and they have to sit and uh, apply not only that python has a very good advantage on the fly one can view its results mm -hmm. That's one right. can view its results it is only python is having that chance where no other language you won't get that you won't get that so how to learn this or how i mean learning is first, simple first you even get coaching even, coaching. I, 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 even i suggest to before taking any training also hmm. uh, go through some elementary tutorials today web is full of elementary tutorials hmm. first try after reading and, uh, that and after after reading that you can go for coaching and then next uh, the next uh, how to become expert next in to doing assignments yes. next doing assignments the, because because mm. why, why should we read that is mm. they, they only we, whether python is for us or not sometimes people are come if they go on coaching for a demand a based on supply and demand and all these things mm -hmm. uh, it results in the emptying their pockets other nothing they will get you are right all right so i think uh, you have shared pretty good insights regarding software uh, companies or software field as well as few different things right so thank you my satya uh, satyanarayan murthy uh, tankela ji for sharing uh, the information and guys if you want to go for cyber security simply learn program you can go for it description mein link hai aur usme promo code bhi hai discount code bol sakte ho 10% discount aapko mil jayega उसको यूज करेंगे तो थैंक यू वेरी मच सत्यनारायण बेस्ट ऑफ लक योर लाइफ एंड बेस्ट ऑफ गाइस फॉर योर फ्यूचर थैंक यू बाय 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 I started working in Wipro right after my graduation in 2019. I joined there as a cyber security analyst. Just like every other work, I face new challenges every day. And then I realized I might need some professional help and certification to improve my knowledge. and then i came across advanced executive program in cyber security from triple it bangalore this certification has helped me through my skills and trust me my confidence has grown over time and the salary hike of 40% was just like the cherry on the top